Hello and welcome back to the FPL Penguin. I've got a lot to get off my chest ever since I triple captain this guy, Sergio Aguero, ready for uh, the game this weekend against Southampton. I've got a few uh, mixed opinions from uh, you guys all over Twitter mainly and uh, Instagram, all over social media because uh, I'm cashing in. I'm cashing in my uh, triple captain chip on Sergio Aguero. I'm going up against Pep and his roulette. I'm playing the game. I'm playing it, Pep. Now, this could be a very, very smart move. It could be a very, very bold, very, very stupid. Very, very just crazy. Just crazy move um, from me. And I know I've always been one saying double game weeks this, double game weeks that. Um, but I thought to myself... Why not play it now? Just take the risk. You've seen so many people already use theirs. Either they've worked, they've not worked. A lot of them put on City players like Aguero. Not worked. And I'm taking the risk. I am taking the risk by triple captain in Sergio Aguero versus Southampton. Who we did play earlier this week. Was it Tuesday night against Southampton, who he's playing again to, against again tomorrow? Um, and he scored a brace, but he lined up with Hazus starting lineup. Now the way I've worked it out, Aguero stats wise, here we go. Aguero, Aguero, one hundred and four minutes. This is since Saturday last week, so this is counting the Villa game they played and the Southampton game that's just gone. In the midweek. So those two games I'm talking about. City's last two games. So Aguero since last Saturday. Those two games. How many minutes? 104 minutes on the pitch. Jesus. 177 minutes on the pitch. So the way I've seen it now. I've also calcula calculated as well. Um, they, was it last week? I'm sure it was last week in the midweek. Where they played um, Atalanta. Was it 5-1 win against Atalanta? And Aguero started that. He started that game. Hazes started the Villa game. Then Aguero and Hazes started the game that's just gone against Southampton. Now, the way I'm seeing it now, it's like a pattern. Now, I could get this all wrong and Pep's going to do a huge swerve. He does it with everybody. So, at least I tried... To try and work it out. People saying, oh, you're trying to work it out, Penguin. Oh, you're trying to work it out. You can't work out pet rotation. Well, I'm going to try and work it out, guys. I'm going to try and work it out. So, and see if I can prove you all wrong. Prove all the doubters wrong with this. You know, it's my game, my team. And I'm going ahead with it. Triple captaining Sergio Aguero. Everyone's going triple captain Sterling. That's a more better move. But I don't have Sterling. I did. I got rid of him because he was in poor form. But... He's got well more chance of starting than Aguero because he didn't play at all against Southampton midweek. Um, so, and KDB is certain to start, obviously, because he didn't play at all. Well, I think he was on the bench. I'd have no idea, but he didn't start as well. Um, so, it's, it's, it's a very tough one. It's a very tough one, guys, that, you know, people like Stern and, and uh, KDB more likely to start, obviously, than uh, Aguero. But... I'm keeping faith because, let me ask you this, I'll tell you this, how can Pep start Hazus, who's not a regular starter for City up front, because Aguero get is more regular starter for City, how can he possibly, within seven days, start him three games in a row? Surely he can't do that, can he? He can't do that. Starts him against Villa. This is Jesus. Starts him against Villa. Starts him against Southampton in the Cup. Okay, fine. I'll start him with Aguero up front uh, in a 4-3-3 in midweek. So, surely he can't do that. Aguero only played 14 minutes against Aston Villa. Last 14 minutes last weekend. Aguero played the full 90. Jesus went off 80-something minute. Not much. So, But I still expect Aguero to start. If he doesn't, then Pep's a madman. He's lost the plot. He's starting Hazus three times in a row. I mean, he's, he's, he's swerved us all. He's swerved me. He's, he's, he's just thrown everything out the water. 
and he's one crazy guy, Pep. You can't read him. But you know what? I'm I can read him like a book. <laughs> I think I can. I've done my research. And I'm very brave. I'm very bold. That's what people are saying. I've got balls. <laughs> I was on Elite FPL last night uh, on their live stream. Explained to Steve and Jason um, about that decision. A lot of people saying I've got balls. Uh, crazy move. I'm crazy for doing it. You can't win a pep roulette, pep rotation game. I'm feeling confident. I'm cashing in. I'm going for it, baby. I'm cashing in. And, you know, I'm playing my own game. I don't have to listen to you. I don't have to listen to you. I listen to myself. I'm going with my gut. If it messes up, that's on me. That's on me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for me. I'll play it when I want. And you don't tell me when I should play it or not. I'll play it when I want. But... We'll see what happens tomorrow, 2 o'clock when the uh, fixtures are released. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping the grammar starts. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I'll be pissed. I will. Uh, but I am a bit nervous. But I am 85, 80% that high. Uh, percent sure he will start. He's got to do. Sterling will start, obviously. KDB will start. David Silva will start. Aguero will start, I'm sure. Aguero will start. So, now that I've blown that out of the water, I know I've talked about this game week 11 team already. If you haven't checked that out, check in one or two videos back. And please do like and subscribe. We do appreciate that as well. I'd like to get to 200 subscribers. So, yeah, I'll put Vice Cats and KDB. Imagine that's a bloody miracle, right? Aguero doesn't bloody really play. Stays on the bench the whole bloody game. And KDB picks up two assists and a goal. That'd be absolutely amazing. I remember when that happened when... Um, was it Sterling didn't play? It was for quite a few game weeks back this season. I think it was Sterling. Was it KDB? One of them. And then a lot of people had him as captain. One of them. And he, and they didn't even play. I think he was on the bench, one of them. And then the other one started and picked up. And then the, their vice captain, whoever they had, became the captain. So it could turn out like that if you remember what I'm talking about. So, the rest of my team I've been with, I've talked about him in the last few videos back. Um, I'm kind of feeling confident. I'm just a bit nervous about that growth, but I'm not looking back. I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing this for anybody out there who's watching this. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for me. This is my team. I'll make my decision. And I've seen so much support as well. People saying, you know what, I'm going to captain Aguero as well. I've seen other people on Twitter message me saying, you know what, Penguin, you're right. I'm going to captain Aguero, but not necessarily triple captain him. They're a bit nervous. I understand that. I understand that. But they're feeling confident he's going to start and they're captaining him. And some people got Sterling the team, but they're opting to captain Aguero over Sterling. So I'm like, good on you. Jump on that Aguero train. We're going for this. Stay confident. Because you never know. You never know, Aguero could end up getting a bloody hat-trick, start and getting a hat-trick, get three bonus points, and you know what, I'll be the one laughing. I'll be the one laughing, I'll come on Elite FPL and gloat about it. But I don't want to sound cocky like that, but I think with so much people doubting me and being shocked, I hope it goes fantastic for me. I hope it does. But fingers crossed, I don't jinx myself, but see what happens. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping to beat you, Pep. I hope you're watching Pep Guardiola. I hope you're watching, mate, because you're probably watching and thinking, hmm, well, I, uh, I'll, uh, I'll play Jesus next. Oh, right, you'll do that next. Okay, that's good for you. That's good for you. Okay, but you're not going to do that because I know what you're doing, mate. You're going to play Sergio Aguero. I know you are, my friends. You are. So we're going to do this. I'm hoping I'm right tomorrow. I'm going to love it and I'm going to get the bubbly out if I'm correct and it gets huge returns and we're going to have one hell of a party guys. So yeah, that's my team. That's my rant. Um, just clearing it all out in the air. Something I should have got out on Elite FPL but I didn't, did I? I didn't. I want this is my channel. These are my rules. This is my playground and this is where everything goes. Everything uncensored and everything. I'll say what I like. So this is my team, Madison, I'm feeling confident Madison, 
as well. Abraham up front, Abraham Lincoln, Mount. Oh, I've drowned myself. Bar me now. God, I can't keep calm. Rico's coming for Zinchenko. Hopefully a clean sheet. Bournemouth's defence looks a bit more tighter than Norwich, so hopefully it'll be a lot more harder, especially away from home for Manchester United to score against Bournemouth. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping Rico does get a clean sheet. And I'm hoping Callum Wilson, please, for the love of God, please get something, my friends. Please get something. Um, but yeah, I, d I do like this team. I'm going for it. So yeah, I... Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video, guys. That's my rant. I'm just getting it out there. Hope you enjoy this video. And yeah, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment down below your game week 11 questions. I'll answer them as soon as I can, as soon as I see them. So thanks, guys, for watching. See you next video. Please subscribe. I've been the Penguin. Hope for a great game week 11. Bye bye.